Chompa chompa. Oh, welcome back to the channel. Um, whew, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm located in Georgia and boy, we've been having some crazy weather here. Um, just about as crazy as the times that we're living in. And that's something that, you know, I want to talk about. You know, no one out there can predict the future, right? This is actually an argument that my husband and I were having this morning. Um, in some ways, he's right. You know, no one can predict the future. Uh, it is very confusing at times when in the same scroll or in the same... Um, whatever you're looking up, right? Uh, you can have two different points of view right next to each other, right? So like you can have two different points of view as far as like the videos that you're looking up. Like one minute, there's a video on how, uh, you know, the housing market's going to crash. And then in the next video, uh, every, things are looking promising. So there's, there's a lot of confusion out there. I get it. Um, I tend to not focus on mainstream media um, because they lie. I don't know if you guys remember fake news. Um, fake news is just another label for propaganda. And that has always been going on. Um, you know, we're given narratives. We're, giving, we're given storylines. You know, I mean, it's like in the movies when there's like, an event that happens and very important people are sitting around a table and they're like, what do we tell the public? You know, let's just tell them. They come up with a narrative, right? And that's the narrative that they sell to the public. And I think a lot of people woke up to that in 2020 where we were hearing one thing told by scientists and health professionals and government peoples. And then we were experiencing different, different things in our everyday lives. So yeah, although we can't predict the future and um, we are getting conflicting points of view from people within that sector of um, our world, for instance, like economists, right? You'll, you'll get two different points of view. However, I always remember that anything that you hear on the mainstream is a lie. Um, They'll never tell you the truth. They'll tell you, they'll tell you, they, they kind of work you up to the truth. So when they tell you that we're gonna have a soft landing or that we're in a mild recession, that's a lie, okay? Um, yeah, sorry, that was my little guy coming in. By the way, I've got a whole nother video on YouTube content creators and uh, I've got a little rant on that. But anyways, getting back to this. So, you know, if they're gonna tell you that we're gonna have a soft landing um, or that we're in a mild recession, they're gearing you up psychologically um, to not take the blow as, as, as hard as you would. You know, they're kinda, they're kinda easing you into the water right now, into the deep. That's my personal view. Um, who do I listen to? I personally listen to people who I resonate with and who I feel are following the money. Um, one in particular uh, is Whitney Webb. And she actually investigates uh, very important people, who they're connected with, how those corporations are connected on a, on a world base, right? And what kind of policies they're implementing, right? And just what they're saying, but she's also like reading between the lines. So when you're hearing words like green or sustainable, those are really happy, nice words, but typically those policies um, are there with harsher um, rules and regulations on your life and my life. Like they make it sound nice, but underneath it's, it's quite dirty. So I, I listen to people who are on the world stage that actually have a lot of pull. 
right? And if they're telling me that this is their plan or they're, they're going to be implementing certain agendas and policies and they have uh, leadership in their pocket, then I'm going to listen to those people. I'm not going to blow them off and think that uh, this isn't worth my time or not worth listening to. I also understand that a lot of this stuff is out of my control, right? Um, it's a very large juggernaut that's, um, that's basically playing a chessboard. You know, it, there's, there's nothing I can do. Um, all I can do is control my reality. And honestly, that's part of the reason I went into homesteading is because when I had an awakening and I saw the realities of how the world actually works, um, there's just, it just confirmed in me to basically create my own little reality bubble. And all I can do is focus on me, my family, uh, and my community and the people around me, right? Um, and I hope that by living a certain lifestyle, I can inspire others to do the same. And that's all I can do, right? But I know there's a lot of like doom and gloom sort of um, videos out there right now, and they're actually quite popular. Um, but I guess what I'm here to say is, you know, we all feel that there's something strange going on. Um, and I guess all I can say is just to encourage you to do your best.